you, you talked about it's a preventative measures. Can that be something that's beneficial for somebody that might even have cancer and is going undergoing treatments? Can can a product like that still be beneficial? I, I can say unequivocally yes. Um, and it's based on the research again. And I just presented a, a couple of really compelling articles that just got published maybe three months ago in 2018. And um, <clears throat> they had to do with cancer um, and using sulforaphane in conjunction with other chemotherapeutics such as adriamycin, which is a very toxic molecule used um, all the time for breast cancer. And so what this study showed is that it, it made the adriamycin less toxic and they could take less and the tumor would go away faster as a result of the combination of sulforaphane and adriamycin. So I think we're reaching a, a convergence of understanding in the scientific literature, knowing that these single molecules that have a targeted approach to, let's say, remediating a tumor, also have a significant side effect profile that go with it. And in order to really alleviate many of these side effects and reduce the dose and improve the outcomes, it's looking like it's a nice combination to have both a natural substance along with a synthetic substance. And so I think we're gonna see a marrying of these two mm. fields of thought, um, which is really exciting, I think, for everybody, including the, the allopathic and the integrative physician out there.